When contrast is the objective, reflective ambient lighting is our enemy. When talking about lighting, the conversation more often than not revolves around additive lighting. It's a simple concept. Add a soft fill, a bright kicker, and a few splashes of light across the background and your scene will automatically look better and more professional. However, it is important to remember that contrast is an essential element of good lighting because it's one of a few visual mechanisms which allows us to perceive three-dimensional depth in a two-dimensional medium like film or television. Not to mention that high contrast visuals are generally viewed as more aesthetically pleasing than their low contrast counterparts. Hang on to the end of this video because I'm going to explain what negative fill is and how it can add dimension and contrast to your shoots. Hi, I'm Jim Costa. I'm a videography, photography, and technology guru, but you can call me a dadographer. I've created many other videos on improving your photography, videography, filmmaking, video editing, audio recording, and technology skills, and many on lighting as well. And I'll link to those in the description below and both during and at the end of this video, so stay tuned. If you want to learn more, remember to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell to be notified when I upload new videos. I upload every week and I'll be uploading many more explanations of film, video, photo editing, and tech topics. Stay tuned to the end to find out how to get my free DSLR mirrorless or interchangeable lens video camera cheat sheet that will have you shooting your photos and videos like a pro in no time. Best of all, my cheat sheet specializes in shooting video with any type of camera, including mirrorless and DSLR cameras. In it, you'll find all the info you need on important video techniques such as white balance, color temperature, frame rates, and more. The info I've assembled for you will definitely help to improve your work. I'm a full-time working photographer, video producer, video editor, and technology pro. That's the small business that I own and it's how I make a living. You'll find my contact info in the description below. Contact me if you need photography or video production for you personally, for your business, or for someone that you know. So if contrast is important, why do we focus so much on adding light to our scenes to make them look better? That's where subtractive lighting comes into play. By taking light away instead of adding it, we can create a meaningful and purposeful contrast in our scenes or in our images, thus adding depth and creating a sense of visual dynamism. One of the most popular methods of subtractive lighting is called negative fill. As the name implies, a negative fill is the exact opposite of a fill light. Instead of filling in the shadows with light, a negative fill will accentuate the shadows by minimizing any additional light that may be trying to bounce onto your subject. The results can be extremely dramatic, making this concept great for narrative and emotional interviews. While negative fill can be helpful in interior situations, especially with locations with bright walls and lots of reflective surfaces, such as white paint on the walls, for example, or mirrors, it's most useful when shooting exteriors. Natural light is immeasurably complex because every surface in the natural and man-made world reflects, refracts, or absorbs light to some degree. Essentially, when you're outside during the day, most of the light you're seeing is sunlight being reflected in a bazillion different ways in every direction off of absolutely every surface. Hence the reason that using negative fill is crucial to adding contrast to your exterior lighting. Blocking out some of those natural ambient reflections is far easier than trying to overpower them with additional additive lights. Just about everything we come into contact with on a daily basis has some level of reflectivity. So using negative fill can have a double effect. First, it can help flag off unwanted reflective 
light from the environment around you, but also reflects that blackness onto your subject as well. Holding up a blackboard or material essentially means that surfaces will be reflecting back that blackness instead of the light that it might otherwise reflect. This brings down its brightness level, increasing the contrast and drama. The most pronounced need for negative fill is when you're shooting a light subject against a light background. All that brightness in the high key image can make the subject practically disappear into the background. But with a bit of negative fill, courtesy of a black card or flag of some sort, positioned on the sides of the subject or just out of frame, you'll create a dark edge to define the subject and separate it from the background. Negative fill isn't just for high key shots though. It's also a great way to add shape to a subject by enhancing the shadow side. Just as a white reflector lightens shadows, a dark negative fill can deepen them even further, which may be just a ticket to add drama to a low key portrait or simply to emphasize the shape of a subject in a tabletop still life. The best part of utilizing negative fill techniques is that it's incredibly inexpensive to do, especially compared to how absurdly expensive every other aspect of cinematography and photography seems to be these days. While a 4x4 floppy on a C-stand is the ideal way to achieve and manipulate negative fill, you can achieve the exact same thing with a sheet of duvetine or even a black bed sheet held up by a pair of light stands or a begrudging PA. Frankly, you could just hold it up. Really, anything with a black matted surface will work like a charm. Now, if this is making sense to you, but I've got it in the comments section below. My question of the day is, have you used negative fill to improve the look of your videos, photos, or the films that you've shot? If so, leave a comment below and let us know. Would you like to learn more about your camera settings to get you shooting like a pro? I've created an absolutely free cheat sheet for you on all the best camera settings to shoot video with your DSLR, mirrorless, or your regular video camera that will show you the settings that will allow your photos and videos to shine and stand out from the competition. The link to get that cheat sheet is just below in the video description. I've also created cheat sheets on other topics such as video editing in Adobe Premiere Pro and even now offer training courses in editing video using Adobe Premiere and soon I'll have others. I'll link to those cheat sheets and training courses in the description below. You can learn to edit like a pro with my Premiere Pro training courses in under two hours. That I can guarantee. Do you want to see more videos like this? Follow my YouTube channel, Jim Costa Films, for more. Think what you saw was great? Like it. Do you have an opinion? Then comment below. Know someone who could benefit from the info I provided? Share the video. Do you want to learn even more? If so, then connect with Jim Costa Films on social media and online on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, and the web. I currently have over 4,300 videos on my YouTube channel, Jim Costa Films, so Feel free to check out many of my other videos for, for great tips and suggestions. If you follow me for a while now, you may know that I have a community of photographers, videographers, and filmmakers, just like you, on Facebook, where I share other pro tips and tricks. It's called Video Producers and Content Creators. I love new members who want to share their work, learn from others, and also help others based on their own experiences. You'll find a link to that group in the description below. So feel free to join it while you'll learn even more.